Last night I was watching my man Smitty. Smitty the trucker, what's up, bro? A uh, video he uploaded talking about his uh, trucking easy. Somebody came up to him and said something like, um, "You know, you drive a truck that's easy, man. All you do is drive all day." I just wanted to throw my two cents in on that because I've had somebody say something similar to me, and. You know, first things first, a lot of these people can't have a hard enough time driving a damn Suburban or a Tahoe and parking at a damn grocery store or something. So just off the simples, driving this vehicle itself is not easy. Being able to control, maneuver a 70-foot, 80,000-pound vehicle, combination vehicle is not easy. We make it look easy, but um, driving the vehicle in and of itself is not easy. Then when you factor in all the other things, you know, driving for 10 hours, 8 to 10 hours a day, it seems simple, it seems easy, it's not, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a wear on your body and, and on your, your psyche mentally because I mean, it's not like you just sit there and, and the truck drives itself a lot of our job while driving these vehicles first of all is to keep ourselves and everyone around us safe okay if we're out here just doing what a lot of you guys doing your four wheelers on your phone and fucking around driving messing with radios and laughing and talking and not paying attention and then we drive past and see y'all in the ditches you know what are you doing i literally when i was at home on my break last week I'm driving down 95, going to visit my aunt, and right next to me, in the left lane, this guy drives right into the back of this pickup truck. What are you doing, bro? You not paying attention to the road, that's what you're doing. So, you know, for people to say that, and then we see these accidents every single day with involving cars and SUVs, basically people just out and about, stupid accidents. We can't afford that. So basically, a lot of our job is being a damn wizard and predicting what you guys are going to do on the road. Basically, a lot of times, and I can tell you this for a fact, we have to see what's going to happen before it happens. And that sounds odd, but I've done it so many times. You know, we're looking further down the road than most people who drive a four-wheeler, so... If I'm looking at this car merge onto the highway and, you know, the way he's going, the speed he's going, I said, look, he's going to end up cutting me off when I get up here. Sure enough, a mile down the road, he cuts me off. Or I see this guy on his phone, you know, I drive past this guy, or he comes blind, uh, blowing by me, he's texting and driving. He's going to be an issue. Two miles down the road, three miles down the road. He done ran off into a ditch. I've seen this happen. Dude drove by me texting and driving. Three to five miles later, he's off in the ditch. You know, I mean, those are just minor things that we have to deal with on a regular basis. So, just to piggyback off my man Schmidt, no, oh, it's not easy. You know, we make it look easy. Um, it's a lot more to it than just driving. We have strict guidelines we need to follow federally and amongst states you know each state has different laws that you need to be aware of the tickets and fines are freaking heavy you know my trainer's pre-pass didn't go off one day going past the scale so he wasn't swung his decision but he went past the scale 
and got pulled over basically for running the scale explained the situation to the officer got an inspection done passed the inspection but long story short he was served with a ticket for 450 dollars because he didn't enter the scale i got a ticket that was my trainer's fault for being overweight on the trailer tandems by a thousand pounds they really could have gave me a warning but they gave me a ticket 205 dollar ticket all we did was slide the tandems back one hole I told him when we picked the load up, he was driving, he picked the load up. I told him it didn't look right to me. I think we need to slide the tandems. He assured me that it was all right. And I took over driving and I'm going through a scale several hours later and I ended up getting the damn overweight ticket. Uh, back on, on, on topic, that was all topic, but it all ties in, you know, so. Also, we can't afford to be getting random tickets and stuff. I see people get pulled over for the dumbest things. Our license is our job. If we don't drive like professional drivers, we can be out of work. Your license gets suspended. You can't work. You know? Your way of making a living is done for. You get anything stupid on your record at DUI, you really just, you got to look for another job, another career path, because you're not going to get a job. So... You know, just to cap it off, no, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. It seems easy to people who have never done it, who just look at it from the outside in. But if you have a family or a relative or a friend who drives trucks and you feel like it's easy, just go for a ride with them one day. Especially in these cities. When I was driving locally, in the city is the worst place to be driving. But yeah, it's not easy, people, so stop taking it for granted. If it was easy, then everybody would be doing it. There wouldn't be a 200,000 plus shortage of drivers in the trucking industry. So, all right, folks, stay up, stay safe. My boy Schmidt, salute. Ain't no way I could be losing, winning, winning, losing, winning, winning.